how to unpartition or delete partitions for your NVMe, SSD, HDDs in Windows 10. As you can see guys, I have this PC application open and under device and drives, I have three drives here. The first one is my Windows C drive, backup D drive and video backups E drive. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to unpartition the E drive here. As you can see, this E drive has 9.7 gigabytes free of 9.76 gigabytes. To unpartition this drive, the first thing we need to do is navigate to the bottom left hand corner here to the Windows star icon and right click on it. Once done, left click on disk management. Once the disk management app opens, maximize the window. At the top here, you can see a list of all the volumes that we have installed and have active on our computer. Underneath, we have a more visual representation of our disks and all the partitions. Disk O is our Windows C drive. And as you can see, it's partitioned twice here, represented by the two lines on this blue line. Underneath is disk one, and this is our backup D drive. And as you can see, this has been partitioned once. Disk one has a total of 465.75 gigabytes, of which the D drive called backup has 455.98 gigabytes and the E drive called video backups has 9.77 gigabytes in its partition. For this video guys, we're going to be unpartitioning the E drive here. To do this, I'm simply going to right click on the E drive here and I'm going to left click on delete volume. You'll then be greeted with this warning message from Windows, which says delete simple volume. Deleting this volume will erase all data on it. Back up any data you want to keep before deleting. Do you want to continue? Yes or no? We're going to be going with yes, as we do want to delete this simple volume. Once we've done that guys, the E drive will be unactivated and the 9.77 gigabytes will be unallocated. To allocate and combine this unallocated 9.77 gigabytes of volume to our backup D drive, what we're going to need to do is simply right click on our backup E drive here and then look for where it says extend volume. Left click on extend volume. Once you've done that guys, the extend volume wizard will open, which says, welcome to the extend volume wizard. This wizard helps you to increase the size of simple and spanned volumes. You can extend a volume by adding space from one or more additional disks. To continue, click next. So I'm just going to left click on next here. Select disks. You can use space on one or more disks to extend the volume. On the left hand side here, you have available, which is blank. And to the right hand side here, we have selected, which has our disk one with the 10 gigabytes of unallocated volume. Basically guys, it has already been selected for us and Windows extend volume wizard knows that we want to allocate the 10,001 megabytes in our disk one. So make sure the volume size that you want to allocate and combine with your D drive, for example, has been selected. Underneath, total volume size in megabytes, 476923. Maximum available space in megabytes, 10,001. Select the amount of space in megabytes, 10,001. Once you're happy with your selected volume size, left click on next. Completing the extend volume wizard, you selected the following settings. Disk selected, disk one, 10,001 megabytes or 10 gigabytes. To close the wizard, click finish. All I'm going to do now guys is left click on finish. And as you can see, now for disk one, there is one full blue bar here when previously it had a certain amount allocated for backup D drive and a partition with a black line with the unallocated volume size. Now it's just a single blue line here with the full disk one volume size of 465.75 gigabytes allocated completely to the D drive called backup. So as you can see, 465.75 gigabytes matches the exact maximum volume size for disk one. And if we go back to my computer here, you can see that the E drive is no longer available. However, the full D drive memory is not showing up here. That's because we haven't refreshed this PC. So if I refresh it now, you can see that it changes from 455 gigabytes free of 455 gigabytes to 465 gigabytes free of 465 gigabytes, meaning that the 10 gigabytes we had for our E drive has been combined with our D drive. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to unpartition or delete partitions for NVMe, SSD, and HDD in Windows 10. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so hard?